Having a family where two out of three children have visual impairments might be regarded an enormous challenge by many people who take the ability to see the world for granted. The following report shows how a 12-year-old boy named Lin Lixiang and his sister cope with visual impairments and how their parents bravely face this challenge, considering it to be just another example of God's grace. Our Sunday In-Depth report. There's a computer program which helps me understand what characters are appearing on the computer screen. Lin Li Shang is 12 years old this year and just entered the first year of middle school. He's the oldest child in his family and he has two younger sisters. What sets him apart from others is that he's visually impaired. In fact, it wasn't really useful to investigate the causes of his vision impairment if it didn't help with his condition. If we can't actively treat him, we need to accept the situation and look at what resources we can provide for him. For example, what sort of early treatment we can give him. Therapist told me how to massage his tongue to make adjustments to his pronunciation. And here you can see that I've carefully noted everything down. We were grateful for his ability to perceive light, so we worked on this in his training. This blue notebook has pages of notes regarding his early treatment. What came as a surprise is that Lin's second sister was also born visually impaired. With the family facing the same challenge once again, both mother and father needed to rely upon their faith to overcome this adversity. God obviously believes that we're taking good care, as when our third child came, we were already aware of what to do and what not to do. We were already very clear about this. As the three siblings grew up, their mother took them to dance classes, hoping to teach them not to be afraid of movement as well as the outside world. Their mother also began to study Braille and translated the children's books into this language. In kindergarten, there weren't any Braille textbooks, so I pasted Braille on these books to help him understand the text. As for his academic achievement, we didn't have any expectations or demands. While most parents want their children to be in the top of their class, we didn't care if they were in the back of the class. We wanted to give the top places to other students. The parents' only hope was that their children would be happy, but Lin had his own high standards to follow. For example, some people may not be good at math and they don't really care. However, Li Xiang wants to be good at all of his subjects and he's going to do everything he can to get it right. Despite these obstacles, Lin continues to be curious and enthusiastic. God may not have given me sight, but I believe that he must have given me other qualities that I can use. God's gift to Lin may be his musical talent. Few are able to outperform him on the guitar or piano. He's also challenging himself to play the violin, which is even more difficult to master. A child may practice a song for a long time, but Li Xiang only needs to hear it for four to five weeks, and then he can play part of it. This really surprised me. In this house, one can often hear the boisterous sounds of children playing. And during summer vacation, Lin's parents often take him and his sisters on vacation throughout Taiwan. There are a lot of people who have family members with disabilities, but many of them keep these family members shut away from the world and don't let other people know about their situation. First, you have to admit your child has a disability. Then, when you reach out, there are actually many groups that can provide assistance. Pasting these flowers and leaves on this mural is Lin Shipan, who designs ceramics. Her interest in public service has led her to work with vision-impaired children, teaching them about art and inspiring their creativity through touch, smell and sound.
我们想要表达 Jimmy 的故事里面的层次呢，它有很丰富的植物。We want to illustrate the complexity of Jimmy's story. It is about lots of lush vegetation with rich colours and textures. So we found lots of leaves with different kinds of fragrances. I think there are many civic organizations with lots of experience who can take these children to enjoy activities like surfing, making an ad, or a film. I've never made a film in my life, and there are lots of things that I haven't done. I think there are a lot of people willing to help these kinds of children do a lot of things. Although Lin is vision impaired, he still finds no shortage of things to do. I want ordinary people to think I'm the same as them. Not say that because I cannot see things, I must be extraordinary. I can do lots of things, but there's nothing special about that. Before, I wanted to be a director. Now I want to be a composer or a mathematician. With his boundless energy and imagination, Lin is proving that anything can be accomplished. Despite the obstacles he has faced, his life continues to be an exciting voyage.